Right, let's talk about checking out the competition. Because as we've talked about, you can source deals from Argus or you know, other stores, Walmart or wherever you are. That's one way of sourcing deals. But there's other ways of getting inspiration and looking for deals as well. So I'm going to talk you through those now. So I've gone to Amazon and I've just, this is just a, a normal Amazon account, not a set of central account, and just put in Lego. Okay. So what you can see by what Pro does is on one of these pages where it's got lots of products, it gives you key information about every single one. This is called the quick look feature in Buybot Pro. So what you can do is always go through here and it tells you what the BSR is. So obviously that's telling you in a number rather than the percentage. So remember that the number, um, the lower the better all of the time. So 2000 is a quicker seller than 11,000. So always remember it's the lower, the lower the better. Okay. And so you go down and you can see all sorts of information about them. So you've got sold by Amazon. It tells you how many FBA sellers, how many MF sellers. You can open the Buybot Pro charts from here if you want to. You can open Buybot Pro from here, or you can go to Google Shopping and see what you can find the product for. So let's just use this as an example product. So let's click through. Buybot Pro will open you up Google Shopping. And then you can go through, obviously you're going to need to check the pictures, make sure it's the same product. Obviously that one's a different product. So you need to make sure you go through and you can see if you can see the same product at a different price or where else that you can get it. Because Buybot Pro's you know, showing you here how many, that is obviously a really popular product, £30.99. pence. So as you go through here, you can see same, same price as Amazon, more expensive, more expensive. If you can find a product a lot cheaper, then you may have a deal there. Now, obviously this product possibly is the same. You'd have to double check. I think it looks like it probably is at uh, $24.99. Now that's not a, probably not a big enough difference to call it a deal because chances are the Amazon fees are going to be more than that, that difference. But for instance, you could then go through and have a look and say, okay, well let's, let's go and have a look. And you could go in and have a look at that place and see if that is a deal and whether that would work. So that's a good way of looking for different sorts of products and another way of sourcing, which is really, really helpful. Now there's another way as well, sort of like reverse searching and spying on the competition a little bit. So what you can do is if you go into Buybot Pro, into, in, onto Amazon, and we're at the same product. So I'm just using the same product as an example. So I've analyzed uh, a deal and I come down and I'm going to have a look at the competition analysis. Now we've talked about this in more detail in another video or we'll do in another video anyway. But what we're going to do is we can go as, you, as we talked about, you know, these the grey ones are MF sellers, the green ones are FBA, blue ones are MF Prime and orange ones are Amazon. So let's just take this one here or this one wherever. So we click one of these, let's go through and we can go through and see what other products that particular seller sells. So we can see if there's anything that he's selling that we think we can find a good deal on. So we can go through here, you can see Buybot Pro Manual Sourcing Accelerator, which is also covered in another video as well in a lot of detail, but that opens up on the right hand side to help you. So you can go through here and you can say, okay, well, like this one, for instance, it's 11.75, you can see that here, buy box price is currently 785. So you probably wouldn't want to go too far with that because you can already see that the seller price is higher than the buy box price. So you're going to have to buy it half the price, probably the buy box price in order to be able to get an Amazon deal there. So you're, that's probably not something you're going to look for because this seller potentially at least paid 1175. Or maybe didn't, maybe they paid less than that, but that's their current price for the product. And the current buy box is only £7.85. So you'd have to buy that product for like two or three pounds to be able to get a deal with the buy box where it is at the moment. But if you thought you could potentially do that, you could then open Google Shopping and say, okay, what can I do? Is there anywhere that I could buy this product? I could recommend they buy this, the, my boss buys this product that's going to be really cheap. Could I, you, you could look and see, can I buy it in a pack that would make it cheap enough? Because this way you've got £17 potentially 
or three. Obviously, we've already talked about or going to talk about don't source on eBay for products unless you're buying them from a named store. Don't just buy them from any random on eBay. Don't recommend them to your boss because your boss is likely to lose their Amazon account. So you wouldn't want to do that. But that's how you can use the reverse sourcing as well to go through Google and look for products um, and not just focus it on going to particular stores to look for products. So you can find good selling products on Amazon and then look at what other products those sellers are selling as well. And you've got the opportunity to use the quick look to go through and give you quick looks at what's, like, literally a quick look at what is going on with that product and see if you can see it. So you can open the Buybot Pro charts or open Buybot Pro and have a look at it from there as well. So there's some clues about how to do some extra types of sourcing that should really help you find some good deals for your boss.